right, welcome to Burgers and Bourbon. Uh, I'm Brian, that is Chris, and that's Aaron. And uh, we are family while playing partners back here. But anyway, no, we, uh, no, this is not part of, of that group. Uh, we are, but uh, this is not, uh, we're not talking financial stuff. Today, right. Right. All right, so all we're talking is bourbon. So last week, uh, we compare, we actually compared two different bourbons. They were mm -hmm. uh, part of my favorites. So if you didn't catch it, make sure you go back last week. It was the Bullet 10 Year and the Bullet Single Barrel. Uh, of course, there's other uh, Bullet products as well, but that just happened to be the two that we compared. They were both pretty good. So, uh, and this week, this is uh, going to be a tough one, I, I believe, from what Chris said. Yes, what Chris said. Uh, this might be a little no. tougher to uh, to take down. So, we thought we'd do this one after we did that one. Right. Um, Chris, why don't you tell us about, who is it? This is Wadi Boone and Sons. Uh, and it's, uh, it. It says on the back of the bottle, real small, I can see it from here, uh, distilled in Tennessee, aged in Kentucky, and bottled by Waddy Boone in Bardstown. So kind of a Kentucky bourbon, kind yeah. of a Tennessee. Um, this was, uh, you know, we've talked about our bourbon night in the past. Second Thursday here at our office, every month, 12 months out of the year, 6.30, bring a bottle, have a good time. Uh, one of the guys who's a regular brought this bottle in. He loves to bring in eclectic stuff. Uh, that's the reason half of it's gone because it has been through a couple of bourbon nights now mm. and it's gone over really well with that gang um, you know we were talking about bringing in our favorites and right. that's where you were like bullet 10's my favorite well my favorite is Weller 12 yeah. and you cannot get it It's if you can find it it's $400, $500 a bottle it's crazy it's expensive uh, because not because it's worth that but because there's so many people that, that are willing to pay it but, yeah. Uh, this was one that I had access to that I put almost up there. So I thought this oh, would be wow. a fun one to try. Uh, the story behind it is kind of hard to find, but as my understanding, this is based upon a recipe that is 1776 age. This is one of the original uh, Revolutionary War era uh, uh, whiskeys that, that this country was known for. It's extremely high proof. This is, mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll throw it up there, I guess. I don't know if you can see that down there. This is a, uh, a cask pick over at Liquor Barn, but it's 127.2 um, proof. Mm. So yeah. I'm gonna tell you that I've had this. I've had it both neat and with ice. And you know, I, didn't, I tend to prefer a cube or two of ice. Yep. Um, I actually like this just as well neat, but it really? dramatically changes the taste. When you cut this with a little bit of ice. You know, for this to be, do you have a chance to smell it? I mean, for it to be 120 proof, it doesn't. It does not come across like that. No, it doesn't. I don't know. My smell just picked up something. Yeah. No, it doesn't. To me, it doesn't have that that brutal of a smell. It doesn't have that smack you in the face, high proof type smell. Yeah. You know what we should have done, though? Mm. We should have just left the proof out of it at the very beginning and just and not told you. It, and then we'll figure out. Get it tells um, at the end. I mean, this smells like butter to me. It really oh, does. Oh wow! Okay. See what I mean? All right, I'm gonna go right for this because uh, that was a little. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need one too. I will tell you that that's a pucker face right there. Yes. Oh. Ooh boy, that was that yeah, was that a bit. Sunday. Here, I'll let you get. Just, oh man, absolutely oh, delicious. Ooh. <laughs> that I will tell you is, wow! That is it's hot. It is, is, it is hot. It is it is hot. Oh my gosh, that's mm. hot! Woo. I, I'm, I'm gonna to put a cube of ice in it yeah. just to, to compare it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the the first the first shot across the bow is tough. This one, mm. this is uh, what, what what price point is this? Uh, okay, it's a little bit tricky to find, but eighty to a hundred dollars okay. here locally. There's a lot of places that will ship. And they're 120 bucks, so you're paying for the shipping though. Wow! All right, so I just took a sip about a minute and a half or so ago, and it didn't my. You can it is it. like burning from here down. Oh boy, that is tough. Just remember that we have a client appointment later on. Yeah, today. No. Ooh, me, that is tough. Let me <laughs> ask you this though. Yeah. And knowing that price point, Brian, you just saw that. Are you going to pay 80 to 100? To there's not a chance. I mean, there's to me, there's no chance I do now. Mm. I, I, I'm starting to I'm trying to chill this down the best it, I yeah, can. Yeah. Um, again, during a bourbon night, it's fun because you you know you don't take a whole lot of anything. You just yeah. take it and you try it. Uh, I'm glad I tried it because right. now if I walked in and and I like to get different odd kind of bourbons, you know. Yeah. If I find something that's just something I've not seen before, I'm like, oh, you know. I mean, at one point, I think the last one, or the one bourbon night I was here, 
Uh, I got Bev and Tucker. I only yeah. got it because of the bottle. Because I thought the bottle was good. Yeah, we cool. did a we did a, a yeah. review of that. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so that's how I do it. Now this, I would be like, oh, I've never heard of that before. I may pick it up. I'm glad I, I'm glad I tasted this on somebody else's dime and not my own. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you it's know, a little bit more palatable when yeah, somebody else's. It, it's going to taste different when you try it with the ice. <laughs> okay, that now that did smooth it out. Totally yeah. changes yeah, it. Yeah, does, yeah, that, does, that yeah. totally. But again, okay, so on ice, I could do this. I can do that. Mm. And it's That's actually, fantastic. it almost has a little bit of a sweet taste to yes, it. Yes, it does. And it brings it out when you put yeah. an ice cube in it. Yeah. Well, I, the, neat, boy, it, I couldn't do it. I can't do it. Right? No. I mean, I've had that neat. I just took a sip of it, never again. <laughs> um, but now I will say this that I will say that it, it actually, I, I didn't pick up anything on the sweet side or anything other than just a burn, actually, mm-hmm. the first time. Yeah. But now that it's out of cube, and again, I didn't put a whole lot in there, um, it, I can taste it. Is it's a little sweeter, mm-hmm. and it's actually not not bad. Right. You know. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, still, of all the bourbons that we've done so far, it's not not my favorite. So, um, ratings wise, I'm gonna probably go five five and a half on okay. this one. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Just. Yeah. Uh, you know the the definite neat was it was burning way down yeah. for me. Um, you know I know you like higher proof ones a lot. Um, this one I'm gonna I'm gonna give it even with the cool I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna probably give it about a five and a half. I would give it a five. I would give it probably actually five if it was I don't know uh, neat. Yeah. And maybe a six or so. So let's fall in the middle. Of yeah. Yeah. Half. Okay. So, That's fair. Yeah, so and, and I'll, I'll go and then let you go last. All right, go ahead. Um, so, neat. Uh, it's literally, I mean, it's like a two. I couldn't do it. Uh, it was, it was, it was pretty. And rough. you prefer neat? I do, and yeah. I prefer neat. Yeah. So, but with a cube, uh, I, I'm six and a half on this. It's pretty. It's pretty solid. I actually think it's it, the sweet taste. I actually want to keep. I want to put another piece of ice in here. We're mm-hmm. finished up because I want to try it again because I think the the cooler you get it. Or if you keep it on ice and you're drinking it on ice, mm-hmm. like a big block of ice, like yeah. we talk about, I think it could be pretty good. Yeah. On a big block of ice, it stays really cold. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I just don't know that. Well, I think make the, it better the cooler it gets. When you've got a uh, one of the big spherical yeah. ice yeah, 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 yeah. cubes or something along those lines, and you pour this over the top yeah. of it, it really cools it off fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This would be good to try that way. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So I, I mean, I'm gonna go six and a half, but only with ice. <laughs> Only one ice. Disclosure. Yeah, yeah. This is. Boy, I mean, this this reminds me. Uh, now drinking it neat, I get to 100, 100 127. Bucks, 100, yeah. So, yeah. To me, the first time I tried it, it it's like burn like cheap bourbon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I. That's the sense I got. Yeah, my right? tongue too. Yeah, just <laughs> cheap bourbon. But now you can take cheap bourbon, put all the ice in there you want, it still doesn't make any. It's better. still cheap bourbon. Yeah. yeah. This is actually. I actually, actually enjoy it here while you're doing it. I'm going to sneak a piece of another piece of ice. Yeah, please do. Just to uh, try. See, this is a perfect example of where uh, there's no right or wrong answer to bourbon um, because you all both rated this very low um, and even lower, neat, like undrinkably low. Oh, yeah. Whereas I really enjoy this. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is really good bourbon. I, I like this. I'd say neat. This is an eight easily. Uh, with a cube of ice in it, this is a nine. Wow, this is way up there. But once again, that's personal taste. Yeah, right. I hey. like that burn. I like the way it brings out all the flavors yeah. in the mouth. Uh, you know, that's just really, really good stuff. This is a mouthful of butter to me, which is that's a good thing. By the way, I love that. <laughs> that's the best thing about bourbons is there's one for everybody. That, that's, that's exactly exa- right. Well, yeah, yeah it, that's it, yeah, that's exactly right. There's nothing else to put on that. Um, you know, and that's why they make some. It's you know, four year, ten year, and fifteen mm-hmm. year, whatever. Yeah. Because you know, some people may look at a four year and go, "I think it's pretty good." Then other people look at a fifteen year and go, "Well, I like the way it's aged, right. and it's better to me that way." And you know, interestingly enough, I have not tried it. This is an eight year bourbon. Uh, they do have a oh, nine year version that I know of. I've seen that, and I I think I saw a ten year. I would challenge the people who are watching if you can find out more information about this. Uh, by all means. You know, let us know. We'd love to know a little bit more about this. The nine year probably is a little bit more mellow. Yeah. If there is a ten plus year, yeah, it would probably mellow it down that much more. Okay, so now I've had my second cube of ice in there, and I've been kind of swirling it just to kind of chill it out. 
See what you got. It's actually sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you can go. definitely. You, I'm picking up more on the sweet mm. flavors now because I literally just took a sip and then I licked my lip up here, and um, it, you can definitely taste the sweetness that's left behind. Yeah. So it, it's definitely getting better as the cooler the cooler you get. So. So maybe it's just a matter of cutting it down to a level where you really like it. Yeah, variable could be that. Not too. just the cold, but yeah. the actual watering it down just Vari- a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It brings yeah. out those flavors. Yeah, yeah, very well could be that. Keeps so. it from being quite so. Uh, yeah. Now I will say this. Yeah. Now I will say this that had you given this to me and put ice in there to begin with, I would have rated it much higher. Yeah. Right. I would have. But that's not the way I drink it, right? So so it's different, right? So I love I I drink my bourbon neat. uh, So that's how I always try it. But had I not done that and just had ice in there, I would have rated it higher. Yeah. Because it's. But again, if you like if you like cold bourbon and you want it over ice, this is a a pretty good pick, Mm -hmm. right? It's a pretty good pick. And again, it's going to be in that super premium price, so yeah. keep that in mind. Yeah, it's, it's up there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, any other last thoughts on this? No, this is uh, it, I, this is just the perfect example of if you have the right palate, you will love this, and if yeah. you don't have the right palate, you just wasted a lot of money on something like this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is the first one I've been on in terms of uh, all of the reviews we've done that we're this far skewed yeah yeah, yeah oh you're yeah. right so yeah but you know it's it, a great example this was brought in as i said for one of our bourbon night events we have a pretty wide ranging uh palette group in that room yeah the people who are a little bit uh less experienced tasted this and they're like wow that's too hot and they immediately move on to something else uh the guys who are a little bit more sophisticated in their taste will start experimenting around with it and almost all of them like it as a testament to People only pouring very, very small amounts, right. and half that bottle's gone. Yeah. So as you experiment with it, people really started falling in love with this one, and that's why I picked that. Yeah. Yeah, this was – I'm telling you, the, the colder it gets, the better it is, mm-hmm. I think. So uh, – or it could be more watered down, too. So but A little bit of both. Probably. Yeah, a little bit yeah. of both, yeah. So anyway, all right, so that's it for uh, Wadi Boone. I, I, I'm assuming that we're pronouncing that correctly. It's yeah. – Wadi Boone and Sons. Yeah, Wadi Boone. And this is the eight year. They have more than one product. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, so that's it for this week. Uh, let's see. Next week, we'll have Chris bring in his, if we can find it. Uh, um, we'll have Chris bring in You know what? I, it, here's what I'm thinking. Um, if I can't get the Weller 12, which is a joke to find, uh, maybe I'll bring in some Antique 107, which is in the Weller line, and it's great bang for your there buck. You go. So. There you go. All right, so anyway, we'll do one again next week. So apologize for the little bit of a delay. We had uh, we all kind of dealt with COVID and end of the year uh, holidays just, and holidays, people being off, and so we everything took, all at the same time. Yeah, everything all at the same time. <laughs> so we took off about four or five weeks. But anyway, we're back at it. Uh, we'll produce one every week, and actually, we may we're going to transition a little bit. Uh, we're going to be producing a bourbon, I think, every week now. Yeah, a little bit more frequently. Yeah, and uh, and we may wind up throwing a burger in there occasionally if we find somebody that says, "Hey, we have a good burger," or we've been somewhere that's a good burger. We may throw that in, but uh, but boy, there's just a ton of selections on the bourbon side, yeah. and we're getting a lot of feedback on the bourbon side to say, "Hey, try this, try that," um, and so uh, we may stick to doing a bourbon every week, but we'll see. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this week. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you guys next week.